Hello, so this video has come about with a request from a teacher to use PowerPoint with Google Classroom. They've got an audio file embedded into PowerPoint, could be a video file as well or one of the other features that PowerPoint has that maybe Google Slides doesn't have and they want to share that with their classroom. They don't necessarily want to recreate it in Google Slides um, but still want to distribute it. So let's take you into, into my screen. So to do it go to your test class. Now I have a PowerPoint uh, beneath my screen just here and into your classwork you create your assignment as you normally would. I'm going to call this test assignment and you type in your instructions here. Now I'm going to add, now you're adding a file I would normally drag my PowerPoint file into here, it then uploads and that becomes available to pupils. And you can then select whether the students can view the file, can edit the file or whether each pupil gets a copy for that. When you assign it on the pupil view, they will then be able to upload their version as they would for any other. Um, another way you could do it is you could use your Office 365 account, so go to Office 365 or Microsoft Office online, uh, you can sign in. You can then upload your PowerPoint to the drive. Once it uploads, it will then open in your screen and PowerPoint will open very similar um, to how it looks on the desktop. It doesn't quite have all the functionality of the desktop version, but it's pretty good. Again, if you want to share the online version, because you might be worried your pupils don't have PowerPoint at home to open the file, if you can click on share and then you can get this option to send link. Now, Automatically, PowerPoint puts this thing where it says anyone with the link can edit. You don't want that, probably. You want the children to just view it. So you just untick the allow editing and press apply. Copy the link. Copy that link again. You can return to your Google Classroom. If we create, I'll create it as a new assignment. That then, you then add it as a link here. So I'm going to paste that one in. And it then appears at the bottom. You then click assign in the same way. And that goes to the pupils. Now the other thing you might want to think about is turning your PowerPoint file into a Google Slides document. It gives you a little bit more functionality with Google Classroom. Um, and the way you do that is you drag your PowerPoint into your Google Drive and then it appears. Now, once it's appeared, if you go to open with Google Slides, it will then convert that PowerPoint to a Google Slide. Now, if it has the audio and video, it will probably lose it and that won't convert, but it will convert the major part of the slide. And here I have loading the, the PowerPoint into slides. You can then, in Google Slides, add your own videos or audio from here as well. And so you would do that by going to Insert, then you can add audio, video, and other things that you want to do as well. Now if you want to add that to Google Classroom, again we'll do a third test assignment. Do assignment, do test assignment three. You can add from Google Drive this time. And you can see it pops up there and you can add it straight in.
So hopefully you've seen there different ways in which we can add PowerPoint and Google Slides to Google Classrooms so children can access them.